So this so, is our, this this our is cell it. therapy segment on okay. StreamYard, Success My After favorite. Lockdown, where we talk about mental health, man, mm. the mental health aspect and part of this whole journey that we on, um, being formerly incarcerated, going through the, you know, the, the culture shocks that we mm. go through, you know, and, and, and going through the, that, that, that process of boys to men. So if you mm-hmm. could like, you know, speak, what, what you think, you know, what type of advice you have, um, or what, you know, any, if anything that you think about when you think of mental health and how serious it is with one's, you know, mental going through the prison system and coming mm-hmm. home, doing what you're doing. Man, it's, 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 it's amazing that you say that because my book that I wrote, I hate to say it was plug it, but it, it, it leads up to a point that what you're uh, what you saying. No, the book, like the, the uh, my book, I had originally wrote it as an ebook, and I published it back in I want to say 2018. And over the course of a few years, I just really started diving off into mental health. I ain't gonna lie, if he ever hit it, shout out to Charlemagne the God because he was like one of the first persons that I was listening to that was yeah, shout out to Charlemagne the God. Yeah. About <laughs> mental health, That's mental health. Man, I'm a I'm a I'm an avid fan. And so what I did was I took my book. Here you go, right here. This is how I look a copy of it. Yeah, and I and I made it a revised edition, but I revised it because th- even though the book has five principles, there's really six, and I deal strictly with mental health. Very important. It's like that, it's it's the thickest chapter of the book, and it's also the last chapter because I started to realize, man, I'm 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 kind of effed up. Uh, like, like 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 you know, I, I can't hide it. I know internally what's going on with me when I look in the mirror. Right. You know, it, 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 what, you gonna say something? No, no, I'm listening. Okay. I'm going to you yeah. finish that. Yeah. And, and, and I, I knew that certain things that I was dealing with now that I'm out, you know, I couldn't really deal with them like I would inside because now there's a whole different mindset, a whole different environment. Like one of the things that I'm still trying to break this habit to this day, but I know it's all dealing with mental health. And my wife tells me all the time, like, you know, you still eat real fast. Like, she, she, like it's because it, it's, yeah. it's so psychologically embedded in my brain. Man, we had Ruth Chris. I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that it, and so like now that we out, you know, I still once again it's been going on 12 years that I've been trying to psychologically break this habit. This is just one that I know yeah, that I know it's there because I look up, everybody still eating. Like, hold on now, like <laughs> Y'all yeah. wasn't hungry, but the right. whole time it's it's because you got that couple minutes in that child hall to scarf down this food and get back to that cell. So mm-hmm. mental health is real big for me. This is something that I go around advocating today that I believe, and it's I'm down here talking with a few people now that I believe that when a person is released from prison, I think that not necessarily a mandatory or parole condition, but I think that Department of Corrections should provide those services free when a person gets out of prison. Absolutely. Because, you know, I could be messed up from losing my mother, losing my father, losing my grandfather, losing my stepfather. My my favorite cousin died, you know, while he died while he was in prison Mm -hmm. at 24 years old. Like, I could come out bitter. I could have came out angry. And don't get it twisted. Those emotions were there, especially when I saw certain people that I hadn't saw in 17 years, and it's like, whoa, what were you? But I just never allowed that to trans, transmit itself in my action. Don't get twisted. I would think about it. It would run through my head. I should beat the F out of you, <laughs> right? Yeah. I, I'm mad. I'm angry. Don't get There's an angerness to me when I got out, but I just didn't display it in my action. So mental health is real big, real big. I mean, I'm just yeah. fortunate enough to have, you know, now friends that's in that profession to what I need to call them when I'm dealing with things I can call them. 